Hello and welcome to part one of the video series. We are going to set up our project now. Um, yeah, let's start with it. Firstly, so that you know which um, which uh, which version I have on Angular and Node. It is currently um, I'm using the the newest one. Minus minus version. It is currently uh, yeah Angular 11 and for Node I'm using 14.15.3. It is currently yeah pretty much uh, pretty much the latest ones. And yeah, let's start. Actually, I'm currently in a folder and I will create a backend folder and a frontend folder. Uh, firstly, let's create a folder. I'm calling it backend and in it here I'm going to say npm init and this will create my my package JSON actually my entry point will be my index.js yes test command git repository I will set it up later and the author it's me and the license there's no license is this okay yes it is okay and now I can just type code dot and from here on we are just creating another file we are just calling it index.js and now we are going to install some packages we want to use later on npm socket io and express And as you can see, the node modules already are already uh, into it. And now we also want to use uh, node mons, so that's why we are going to use uh, uh, the dev. We don't need the test one actually, so we are go calling node mon and index. So, and when we just call NodeMon now, it should run now, and yeah, it's it's working. Why should we should we use or should you use NodeMon? NodeMon uh, is a hot uh, reload after save. So actually, otherwise, if you do some changes in your index uh, in JS or in different classes, you always have to stop your server, and uh, NodeMon will do this for you. So uh, if you change something now, um, let me just. Well, te oops, well, test and I save this now the server is automatically restarting and that's why I'm using Nodemon. Yeah okay so actually we have s set up our backends uh, we are going deeper into it later on now and now our front, is front end is coming uh, I'm just doing again command line and I'm just saying uh, ng new and uh, what name would you like to use for the workspace in the initial project? We are just using front end, uh, nothing special. Uh, now we will take default. We want to have Angular routing, that's why I'm just saying it. Yes, uh, CSS, yeah, CSS is norm normal. I guess we don't need more. Okay, when everything is finished here now, you just can type code dot in a, into it and your IDE should open now. Oops, uh, actually in the front end folder, otherwise you have the back end folder in it too. That's not what I want. And we are going to prepare our front end system now. We are going to create some folders. Uh, I like to have a small structure. Mm, I'm going to, to create a components folder service folder and yeah this should be it um, we are going to, to implement uh, the socket IO client library and angular material just press new terminal and oops uh, that's the wrong one actually okay let's just type it in npmi socket.io minus minus client and the library is getting installed and after that we want to add 
Angular Material. It's done with ng add Angular Material. We are taking indigo, indigo pink. Uh, also the standard ones, and that takes some time now. After that, we are going to implement uh, one material uh, module TypeScript class. Uh, why are we doing that? Um, we actually want to use some of the Angular material components and when we want to use them, we have to import them. Um, when we are using the input, uh, input field, we have to import this here in the import fields and that's that could be pretty annoying when we are using a lot of components from Angular, mat uh, Angular materials. And that's why we are going to create uh, our own our own Angular, mat uh, Angular material module and we just import it uh, later in the app module test. We just type in ng generate m uh, module material minus minus module uh, equal app and we are getting created. Uh, we get a material folder with a material dot module t uh, ts class, and it's already imported in this uh, in our app module. That's perfectly perfectly fast. And I'm going to copy now a complete import statement for our Angular materials. So as you can see, there are a lot of modules from our uh, Angular material, and um, yeah, that saves us a lot of time when we are using some of the components from Angular Material. We're saving it now and we should be uh, good to go more or less. We just type in ng-surf and our front end should run on localhost 400 We are back and um, compiled successfully and when you started now the application is, uh, yeah, there's this documentation stuff, actually this is generated by Angular it says and we are going to change this in the next episode where we are going to place um, some mockup data for our cards or for our words. We're going to create um, the overall look of, of the application and the the backend system will be done after that see you till then bye